Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today, I want to talk about sending a knife in for repair. But what company? Case Knives, WR Case & Sons. I have never, ever had to send a knife in for repair. Um, I've never had a problem with a knife. If I ever did have a problem with a knife, it was from a previous owner, got a trade, it was broken for whatever reason. Um, but I never had like a factory defect. And that's what we're looking at today, is some kind of strange factory defect on this knife, okay? So this is a case slimline trapper, has a jigged, uh, very dark brown bone scales, very beautiful knife, absolutely love this thing. I've had this for many years. I actually got this from its previous owner because of this factory defect. They had purchased this brand new and uh, they noticed after a while that the blade point does not recess into the handle like it should. If you look, let me use that white background there, I'm zoom in a little bit more. When the knife is closed, that tip pokes out. And that's not good. It's a very sharp little pointy tip. If you're rubbing this way, it doesn't really matter. But if it's loose in the pocket and you come back the other way, it will bite you. And I know this because that's exactly what happened to me. When he sent it, he's like, ah, you know, it really bothers me. I, I said, well, you know, did we get cut on or anything? He's like, no, it's just, you know, something that bothers me. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, it's not a big deal to me. I never thought that it would be an issue. And I only carried this a handful of times. And it was really just kind of sporadic here and there, just loose in the pocket, and one day, I got bit, and it wasn't bad at all. It was, it was more of like a shock, like, ooh, I thought I got cut, and it just kind of barely poked me, uh, which was lucky, but it still happens, and I'm like, yeah, you know, that's not cool. So if I push down this blade, this is how it should be, okay? This should be recessed in the handle like this, when the knife's closed, obviously, but it's not. And I don't know what the issue is, but it's an issue out of the box, from the factory, some kind of fit, uh, fit uh, problem fitment problem with the back spring or something like that don't really know exactly what the problem is I can't even picture in my mind what would be going on here that would not allow that to recess all the way now the first thing I thought was maybe okay it's dirty when I first got this I thought that was the problem but no when you shine light in there you can see it's completely clean I've uh, re-oiled it I've cleaned it no issues as far as something physically being in the way like a foreign object or something like that because you might think like maybe a tiny bit of dirt or a real small pebble or something maybe got jammed in there like you know preventing it from being closed but not the case so um yeah i wanted to make this as like kind of a part one because i'm going to send this back to case to see what they can do about it so i went to the website and um i printed out their warranty and repair service here which i'm going to read to you it's a little bit different you know if you don't know zippo you know zippo lighters the company they own wr case and sons all right, so it's one and the same, but obviously they're run differently. Uh, and if you don't know, Zippo has the best warranty on the planet. It's no questions asked. And when I say that, I literally mean no questions asked. I shot a Zippo on purpose, sent it back to them just to see what they would do. And I'm sure the lady that got it or the guy that got it, it's like, that's weird. Okay, here you go. Brand new Zippo sent back to me. So they really just stand behind their product no matter what. They don't care if it's their fault, your fault, your neighbor's fault. It doesn't really matter. Um, they will replace uh, or repair your Zippo for free every single time. Um, but case is a little bit different, okay? So let me read this first, all right? And we'll go over a couple things. So warranty and repair, and then on top here, due to circumstances of what's going on, it might be delays, which is totally understandable. All right, so it says, we warn each and every case knife to be free of defects in materials and workmanship for the life of the owner. And we will repair or replace with a new case knife, any case knife, that is defective. Uh, that's how strongly we feel about the quality of our cutlery. Case does not warrant its products against normal wear or misuse. Case knives are not intended to be used as hammers, chisels, pry bars, or screwdrivers. If your knife was damaged due to misuse, uh, our repair department can analyze the damage and repair it for a reasonable fee. Our limited lifetime warranty gives you specific legal rights uh, and you may have other rights which vary from state to state. All right, so how our warranty works. If you believe your case knife has manufacturing defects, complete our warranty slash repair form, then follow the simple steps, steps and send your knife in for service. Uh, all repairs are made with current manufactured parts. Uh, and also says we recommend you don't send in any collectible box, tins, tissues, or original paperwork uh, with the knife. Please allow six to eight weeks for delivery. Um, so obviously how this differs is like a lot of different knife companies are like look if we messed up and you got a knife in the factory that wasn't right and there's a problem we'll take care of it no questions asked with that 
But if you're using your knife and you pry the tip and it snaps off, that's not necessarily a, a defect. That's the user error. And so that's kind of a commonality, you know, among warranties across the board with knife services. Now, there's obviously some exceptions. Some knife companies, more times than not, more expensive knife companies, they'll stand behind their product 100%. They don't care what you did. They know you screwed up and they'll, they'll take the loss. It costs them money and they don't like it, but they'll do it anyway for the customers because they want to be a good company. Um, so, like, I don't have a specific problem with that. I do feel that this is a, you know, obviously a manufacturer's defect. Uh, a lot of times when people send knives in for repair, it's user error. They broke it. They, they don't, you know, something happened and they go, ah, crap, and they send it in, right? Um, but this out of the box had this issue. Now, here's what's really interesting. I did already fill out the warranty and repair form. It's online. You fill in the, you know, different categories or whatever, all the information. So it's not like you print it and have to send it in with the knife. What they want to do is they want to look at the knife first. They want to assess the situation and then they'll let you know if they feel like that is a problem. Because what they don't want happening is a bunch of people sending in knives that they broke and then giving them a call or an email or something and saying, hey, you broke this, it's going to cost X amount of money. And then those people are like, hey, wait a minute, I don't want to pay that, you know? So they're avoiding that completely by saying like, you need an assessment first. So it's mandatory to upload three pictures of your knife. One picture has to be of your knife open. All the blades that are available in the knife have to be in the open position. A second picture has to be of the date stamp, okay? Not the model or anything on the back, but the actual logo with the date stamp, all right? So they can get an idea of how old the knife is. And uh, the third picture they want is specifically of the damage. So that's exactly what I did. I got a picture of the date stamp, I got a picture of it open, and I have a close-up on a slight angle like this shot, or actually it was like this, uh, of that tip sticking, uh, sticking out while it's in the closed position. So I thought that was really interesting. I've never seen that before where they're re requiring pictures first. Cause again, if someone in case a, a worker has to look at this case, <laughs> yes, it's a case case. Uh, and they have to determine, okay, well, this is our fault or this is your fault. And then they proceed further before you send the knife in. So I sent that email in yesterday. I did not get a response today yet. As soon as I uh, do get a response, of course, maybe I'll do an update video or I'll just wait until I get the knife back or whatever. Um, but I'll keep you posted throughout this process to see what they say and you know how my experience was with their warranty uh, service. Now, like I said, I've had case knives, I mean, for decades now, um, but I've never had to send one in. I've never had a problem. The only uh, case knives that were ever you know, broken were ones where blades were broken, but I knew that beforehand and it's nothing I did, it's ones I got in trade. People happen to break a blade and they're like, hey, what am I gonna do with this? And they just send it to me uh, or offer it in a trade, you know, as like a bonus thing. And uh, those knives have always been traded back off, that's it, or given away. You know, sometimes people, it, there's at least one case I can remember where someone sent me, it was a trapper and the second spade blade or the spade blade on it, which is a secondary blade for that, because uh, you have the main clip point blade and then you have the spade blade. That uh, spade blade was like a half a blade. And the knife was fairly new. I don't know what happened. I, I can only assume someone pried with it. Anyway, long story short, it was a, a trade for a completely different knife. They threw that in and had a little letter say, hey, I don't know what to do with this, it's broken. And I said, okay. And I never really thought to send it in or anything because I know it was abuse of the knife. I didn't really consider that to be an option. Um, and I did another trade with someone with traditional knives and I ended up sending that to them just as a throw in. That's all, just like, hey, here's a surprise, uh, do what you want with it. Because uh, people do that with me all the time, so I always pay it forward and do that for other people. And it's not broken knives, it's usually just some other bonus knives, maybe something a little bit cheaper, but still kind of cool. And I like to throw those in occasionally. But, uh, but yeah, so just wanted to make this first video talking about what to do for the warranty if you have an issue and you do think it's a manufacturer's defect. It, it's like that from the factory, it's a factory issue. Um, you can of course contact them and see if they're gonna want you to send it in. So that's the next step for me is waiting to see if they agree. Yeah, that's not right. I don't think you did that. Uh, go ahead and send it in. Uh, if they think it's my problem, uh, I'm assuming then at that point they would give you uh, an estimate. You know, if you do send pictures and you're like, okay, the blade's broken, you know, or the handle scale's coming off, you know, whatever it is. If they think it's your fault, I guess they're gonna send you a, an estimate of what it may cost. And then you can go ahead and send it in and, and so forth. But I'll keep you guys posted. I'm assuming they're going to be like, yeah, that's totally, you know, a defect. It, it shouldn't do that. Um, don't know why. It was never, from what I understand, it was never like um, hyper extended or anything. Because that's the first thing I thought was maybe it was, 
there was so much pressure put on the blade that it pushed backwards and bent something. So now when it's closed, it's not as closed. But again, the previous owner had said they got this straight out of the box like that, barely ever carried it. I mean, it is in still fantastic condition and I, I've only used it a handful of times as well. Um, so I definitely believe them in that sense that it just came out of the box like that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what Case says and I'll keep you posted. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know down in the comment section, have you ever had a Case knife that had a problem? It's pretty rare. I mean, traditional knives across the board, any new traditional knives, whether it be Case or Queen Cutlery or GC or whatever you happen to have, um, I don't really hear a lot of problems of them you know, having issues outside the box. You get the things, you use the knives, um, you know, if you don't break the blades, they're usually fine. It's, I don't really even see like newer traditional style knives or slip joints or whatever that uh, loosen up or anything with time. It's just one of those things where they're just, they're fine. They're usually good to go. Uh, a lot of times when people have issues with different knives, it's like minor locks and things and maybe they're cheaply done and they get blade play and, and maybe different types of locking mechanisms that uh, create blade play pretty easily. But with slip joints, I mean, they're usually just good to go. It's uh, really a, a simple, simple knife design. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hopefully you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.